you navigate to dextool.io or dextscreener and on dextools you go to live new pairs you are going to see the list of tokens that is being listed in decentralized exchanges 95 percent of these pairs being listed are honeypots in the sense that Whenever liquidity is being added to this token, the liquidity might be removed at any given point and this token might be listed for testing purpose or maybe for any other purpose. Sometimes you might even buy this token, but you won't be able to sell. But in this video, I am going to show you how to make money trading these tokens automatically. This video is for educational purpose only not as a financial advice and if you like this type of content please subscribe to this channel like the video and let me know what you think about this in the comment section so without delay let's get started the required tools for this project is visual studio code and docker so navigate to this link and download visual studio code and then install it in your machine when you are done navigate to this link and then download docker and install in your machine there's going to be the link in the description of this video navigate to this url the link is going to be in the description this is Florinix official github url in which the bot is so these are the files of the bot in which we are going to run in which the bot is going to buy and sell this new token for profit automatically so the function of this bot is to buy and sell this new token in the period of 51 seconds or whenever the target profit in percentage is reached so what we are going to do right now is to click on this code option and then click on this icon to copy this url so we are going to download the files here into our computer now navigate to your terminal if you are on windows it is recommended to download git bash git bash is going to make you have access to the commands similar to the one on my mac as well as on linux and then when you are done open your git bash on windows or if you are on mac open your terminal and on your terminal if you type ls you are going to see the directory in which you are now navigate to the docker that you downloaded when you get to the docker files take note of this point containers as well as images now if you click on images you are going to see that there's no file here and if you click on containers you are going to see that there's no running container Docker is a way in which we can run our bot files or any program that we intend to run in a container. So we are creating a container and push up our files that we are going to run and make it to be isolated from our local computer. So it's going to create an isolated environment just like a visual environment in which our files is going to run so if you are not a developer you don't worry about installing node.js and installing all the dependencies because docker is going to handle that for you automatically if you are a developer you can use docker engine docker engine is what comes with this docker desktop so you can also feel free to use docker engine and during this video we are going to be using both docker engine which is the interaction via the terminal and with this docker desktop i'm going to show you how to do that in this video okay on your docker desktop click on settings if you are using docker desktop and then click on resources then click on file sharing and these are the files directory in which your docker have access to so whenever we are working with our bot files we are going to make sure that we clone our bot file to a directory in which docker can access so docker can access our user directory volume private and and so on we can also add a path in which we want our docker to access so in my case i'm going to run this bot in the user directory or a subdirectory in my user so on my terminal i am already on the user directory so the directory i am in is user and then my name you can see my name and then if i type ls you are going to see the files in this directory so this is exactly where i want to clone the github repo into this directory so remember copy this url from the github url and then navigate to your terminal and when you get to your terminal first of all check if you have git available by typing git dash dash version and then you are going to see the git version that you have the version that you have doesn't matter what matters is that git is available in your machine and git comes pre-installed in your machine so i'm going to type clear and then type git clone 
and i'm going to paste the url so go ahead and do the same thing and then click on enter and wait for it to finish congratulations you have successfully downloaded the repository that we found here to your local computer so what we are going to do next is that if you type ls again okay i'm going to clear the terminal and then type ls you are going to see that we have the directory that we downloaded this is the flowing straight mem token so what you are going to do next is to open visual studio code and the next thing you are going to do is to navigate to this directory on your computer so we can drag and drop the directory in our visual studio code to open the files in it on my computer if i open the finder app and then go to home you are going to see the files here so i am going to drag it to so i am going to drag it to my visual studio code to open the files now this is the exact file that we found in the github directory that we downloaded on your visual studio code in that directory that you open click on source directory which is the src directory and then click on env now this is going to be the settings of your board parameters so we have the node in which we are going to be connected to the rpc url as well as the websocket url but take note that this blockchain node might not be available in the future so you have to impute your own node url in this case we are working on base blockchain that's why you are seeing the url is related to base node and then flowonix.app so what you are going to do is to paste your private key here so i am going to navigate to my metamax and then on this account i have like 294 usdt worth of eth in base chain so take note of the chain is going to be base chain so i'm going to click here click on account details and then show private key and then put my password and then i am going to copy the private key navigate to your visual studio code and then paste the private key here take note to paste it without space when you are done you can click on command s or control s on windows to save it now this is going to be the buy amount in eth you have to modify this based on your preferences and this token holding duration is going to be the duration in which your bot is going to hold this token before selling it off and the take profit percent is going to be the amount in which if the pe it wants the token pump in that percentage your bot is going to automatically sell off the token for profit so i'm going to pause this video right now and do the necessary setup and then when i am done i will resume the video i have successfully saved my private key in my env file in my visual studio code i am going to navigate back to my terminal and then i'm going to type cd copy this directory which is the directory that we clone from github paste it and then click on enter then clear the terminal and then type ls you are going to see the files which is the same files in our visual studio code because we are on the same directory so now what you are going to do after getting your docker is that you have to create a docker image from this file so for us to go ahead and create a docker image first of all you need to confirm docker engine is available after installing your docker which is going to be docker dash dash version and then you should be able to see the version of your docker as well as the build id so once you see the version you are good to go so in the directory of your Florinix trade mem token we want to tell docker to turn the files in this directory to a docker recognized type of file so that we can run it using our docker desktop app so to do that you have to type docker compose that's docker space compose and then build and then click on enter and what docker is doing right now is that docker is converting our files to a docker image now if you go back to your docker desktop that you downloaded under the image you can then see two files which is the flowing trade mem token seller and the flowing trade mem token buyer so these are the two images the function of the buyer is to buy while the function of the seller is to keep monitoring when to sell that token and you can see the file size of the two images right now okay now navigate back to your terminal on your terminal type docker compose up 
hyphen D and then click on enter. Now it is going to start two containers. If you click here and then click here, you are going to see the two containers that it has started. So this is the token seller in which we are going to allow it to run. And if we go back to container, click here, and this is the token buyer in which I'm going to post it for now, for the sake of this video. You can click here to run your seller files and you can click here to run your buyer files. But if in case you modify your .ene file, you have to go back to your directory and then do docker compose up to run it again. Then you can use your docker desktop to manage your docker containers if you want to stop it. The reason why you have to do this is because when you do docker compose up, it loads the .env file again from your directory. If you go back to images, you are going to see that the status of these two images is in use right now because this image is being used by this container. So to start our bot, we are going to click on the containers and then click on Flowness trade mem token and we are going to see our two containers which is the sell and the buy so sell is currently running now remember i stopped the buy so i can click on start and then buy is going to start running right away so we are going to wait for it to execute trade and we can see that my bot has successfully purchased this token so i'm going to post it now and then copy the token contract or the pool address and then navigate to dex tool and then paste it here click on it and we can see the purchase of the token right now before liquidity was removed we can see uh, this is my wallet address and for the sake of this video i only purchased 0 0.4 dollars and that's 0 0.45 dollars and uh, it sold $0.468 here and make a profit. So we can see it on our bots. And from this list, we can see the sell, the buy price, as well as the sell price. And we can see the token and we make 2.4% in the period of 20 seconds because I set my duration to 20 seconds for the sake of this video. So that's exactly how it works. You see, liquidity is being removed, but we were able to enter so quick and then sold off the token immediately. So and when you are ready to stop your bot, you can go to the container and under containers and then click on this uh, name of the image and then you can pause the container here. You can delete the container here as well as the image. You can also delete the image if any container is not using the image. At this point, we can see containers are using the image. So you have to delete the container so that the image will be free. Then if you wish to restart your bot, you can use the terminal by doing docker compose up iPhone D or you can also use this docker desktop to restart your bot. Please take note that trading mem token is risky and this video is for educational purpose. Link to the discord channel is going to be in the description. So feel free to join the discord channel. Ask any question if you are able to run the bot and if you have any question you can ask in the discord channel. Do not forget to subscribe, comment down below and let me know if you are able to set up this bot and how much you've made from using these bots.